hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Lilian Gishuru and on today's video I'll be showing you guys mistakes that you should avoid while starting your own business kindly if you're new here consider giving me a thumbs up so consider subscribing to my youtube channel and of course don't forget to leave me a comment down below so that you can interact more and if you have any questions any query do leave me uh, a comment down below and as always i'll be sure to answer you guys thank you for the 800 subscribers thank you thank you thank you i appreciate you guys so so much god bless you may the lord do you well and i hope you're going to enjoy this one and help me reach a thousand subscribers guys we are 200 people left to a thousand subscribers so i hope you enjoy the video so guys, today we are going to be discussing the mistakes most people do while starting their own nail business. I'm going to handle five mistakes and without wasting much time, let's go straight to the video. So mistake number one is over buying products and under buying products. When you buy so many products, uh, you spend a lot of money, that is one. Two, you have to consider the price of how you will be charging your services. So sometimes you overbuy the product and you are under, under, under charging the services. So you will see that your business is not making any profits. Another thing is under buying products. You need to have the exact right amount of products that you need for your business to thrive. If you, if you overbuy or if you underbuy, they will still make no profit for your business. Mistake number two, you should avoid well starting your own business is lack of experience. You know, going to something and you have zero experience, you have zero wisdom, you have zero knowledge about that thing, chances are high that you, that thing will not succeed. So what you do is that you either hire people with experience, then you, you overlook the business. Because most people, they just start the business because other people are starting the business. You know, like the nail industry now, which is not like when we started, we weren't as many as right now. And many people are still opening. And I'm sure you're watching this video because you are aspiring to start your own. So experience is very, very important. Make sure you either take time to learn, take t time to invest on people that know what they are doing in the industry so that you do not waste your resources investing on that business. Another mistake that most people do is hire people that are not trustworthy and they don't even have a CCTV camera. Remember that whatever you do not see is what kills your business. So if you are employing people to work for you, make sure you have a third eye, which is the CCTV, so that you can monitor your business even at the comfort of your house or the comfort of your work. So that, because like now, if I told you, um, if I asked you how many people this this polish have applied in a day, you can't be able to tell. So what you do, you need a that eye in your business so that you can be able to monitor your business wherever you are. Remember, whatever you do not see is what kills your business. Also, uh, 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 employing people under salary compared to uh, hiring people on commission. Remember when you ask you hire people on salary, um, most of the time they won't give you a hundred percent. Reason being, this person will be reluctant because they know whether I make money for them or not, whether I have clients or not, my, my money is still intact. So I would advise you to hire people on commission so that they'll make efforts to gather clients so that uh, the more the clients they have them higher the commission rate they have also do not hire people who do not know what they are doing people who do not have good relationship with the clients remember the business slogan that we all know is that the customer is always right we know that you know, most of the time the client is not always right but because of the nature of our business Kindly pardon the noise, kindly pardon the noise. Uh, because of the nature of the business, most clients they they have they have at least uh, an idea of what they want. So hire people that know how to deal with people, people who are kind, people who are polite, people who are soft hearted, people that won't carry grudges because some clients will come with their stress from everywhere, from work, from home, they'll come and bring it to you. So hire people that have a good customer relationship. 
have people that have a good customer relationship. If you're enjoying this video, if you're learning a skill or two, kindly subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave me a comment down below so that we can we can interact interact more. Another mistake to avoid is having monotonous styles for your nails. The nail industry is growing every time, so you can't afford to be having the five colors, white, black, red, pink, and yellow. You need to bring more diverse colors. You need to have variety of things. Uh, grow with the industry so that when your clients come in, they'll have variety to choose from. They'll have more ideas to choose from. Get nail stickers, nail accessories, nail glitters, rhinestones, decorate, bring your, your up your game on the nail industry so that your client will have a better variety to choose from. So that even when they go from where they, they, they work to where they live, everyone will be complimenting your work. And remember, it's your work that will sell your services to your customers. Also, work on having referrals. Let your clients refer many people, as many people as they can. Be free, interact with your clients, help, uh, help yourself to engage with the clients so that you know what they want and what they expect from you. Always be ready to deliver to your clients what they are asking for because most clients they'll go and interact with other people that have other nail artists out there. Maybe they'll come and give you an idea. Maybe they'll come and give you an idea of something you should do or something you should add in your industry. Don't take it with, uh, with bad faith, take it in good faith so that you can improve your business. Another mistake you should avoid is buying cheap things when it comes maybe to the machines, coming to the gel polish, you know we right now they are gel polish even for 300 shillings. Kindly invest in good quality so that you give your customers the best. I usually tell my clients that cheap nails aren't good and they are not even durable. So if I'm giving them their charity of I'm giving them the good product, they should find value for their money, excuse me. They should find value for their money. So make sure whatever you're giving out to your client is absolutely the best. Invest in good hand wash, invest in a disinfectant, invest in good massage gel, good hand cream, uh, good products. Overall, invest in good products so that you are giving your client the best. Even when they are coming to pay you, they, they, they are confident that there is value for money. Another mistake to avoid is under undercharging your clients. You know, sometimes we have this competition maybe where you are, there are other people who have nail businesses. Kindly do not undercharge your clients. Consider the rent. Consider the rent, consider the income that you're looking at, the, the bills that are waiting on you. So put all those into consideration. Don't overcharge your clients. Be reasonable with your pricing. Do not overcharge and do not undercharge and do not undercharge your clients. Another thing to avoid is being but is being inconsistent. Kindly be consistent in your work. If you say you open at nine, kindly keep your time. Be opening at nine. Make sure your environment is always clean, ready to receive a client, either a booking or a walk-in. Make sure that your parlor or your spa is always ready to accommodate a client at whatever given time. Another thing to avoid is avoid inconveniencing your clients because if they come, they may be find that you have closed your shop or you're not there, they start having alternative because you're always inconveniencing them. So kindly be be good with time. If you say if when you when you are marketing your business, um, make sure if you if you are telling your clients you open by nine, kindly be open by that nine and be ready to be ready to work at that exactly nine. Another thing to avoid when uh, starting a nail business is that you should avoid. Another thing to avoid is please do not forget to market your business. You know, everything nowadays is purely online. So make sure you are marketing your work online, uh, on Instagram, on Facebook, on, all, on your WhatsApp status. Kindly take a picture of your nails when you're done taking, uh, making your clients' nails. 
take a nice picture, post it on your social medias, and always remember to market your work. When you market that uh, picture, kindly remember to indicate your number and your location. Your location is very important. So kindly consider marketing your work every time because when you do not market yourself, people will not know you exist. And you know, the word of the mouth travels fast, but these days everyone is on social media. So kindly market your work on your social media platforms. Another mistake you should avoid, you should avoid being a copycat. Don't do whatever other people are doing. Be authentic, be real, be you. Uh, it is your authenticity that will make clients come to you. So be real, be, real, be your own uh, masterpiece. Be you, be real. Do not copy whatever you are, your competitors are doing. Be authentic, be real. So that uh, when everyone comes to your parlor, there's a uniqueness. Also, another mistake to avoid, avoid uh, being disorganized. Let your polishes be well neatly arranged. Uh, do, not, do not have like, disorganization or your parlor is a messy. When a client comes in, you are looking for primer. You don't know where the buffers are. You don't know where the nail clippers are. Make sure that you have organized your things in a very systematic way so that even when a client comes in without marking, you are always ready. So make sure that your business is ready to welcome and to, to host any client at any given time at any given moment, even if, if it is in the morning or almost at night, uh, make sure you're always business ready. Another mistake to avoid, avoid being late. Avoid being late in your work. In everything that you do, avoid being late. Avoid inconveniencing your client. If you have given a appointment to your client, make sure that you are you have time discipline, do not inconvenience your client, especially those who book, because some are busy with their work, some have taken that time off to come purposely to your nail parlor. So make sure that you are, you have well, you are well disciplined in the sector of time management. If you're a nail artist and you have been in the industry for a while or you're just starting, Kindly also remember to list down below in the comment section some of the mistakes that people should avoid and let us all learn together the mistakes that you should avoid. But make sure the mistakes that I have mentioned, you look seriously into them. And also always remember that your business is your platform. Whatever you do in your business is what you sell for your name outside there. I can't be coming here telling you, oh guys, you know, I'm a nail artist, I'm located here. Always know how to market your business. Have a uh, have a, a strategic place for your business. And also another mistake to avoid is when you're starting a nail business, especially those people who are looking forward to opening a nail business, kindly consider the rent of the shop that you open your business in because you can't be having a business that is consuming all your profit on paying the rent you don't have money to restock you don't have money to pay your employers you don't even have time employees i mean you don't even have time to restock your business you don't even have money to put in your pocket so kindly those are the things you should consider your rent should not exceed the, the income that you are you are taking you are you are making so kindly consider the rent of the place and also, and also another mistake to avoid is the positioning of your business make sure that your business is strategically positioned where there is people flow on everything there is people flow so that you are not somewhere hidden people are coming they don't know where to get you they are looking for you you are nowhere to be found so avoid so the, the small small mistakes and you shall see that your business shall drive and also another thing it is the little things that matters most in a business so make sure that you are making you are keeping time you're not inconveniencing your client the rent that you are paying is you are able to comfortably afford it without having to go back to the pocket especially if the business is above six months old you know when a business is starting you give it a grace period of six months so that you see how the business is do not feel afraid of readjusting especially now in the hard economic times it's okay to adjust to a smaller shop to a more affordable shop especially if you have already built a clientele you just need to uh, communicate to your clients, tell them you are relocating to a certain place and because your work will sell for you, 
your clients will definitely follow you. So don't strain yourself. You are going, you are going much too much into debt because you can't afford the shop that you're currently in. So make sure that you can afford, uh, you can uh, comfortably afford the rent for your shop. And also don't be afraid to invest in new things. Uh, builder gel, gum gel, acrylic. Those, th those new things that will make your business go to, to the higher level, make sure you invest all in, in such things. Also, don't be limited, be open-minded, don't be limited in, uh, in saying that whatever you know is enough. The industry is still growing, has been growing over the years, will continue growing. So make sure that you are keeping up to date with the latest um, things in the nail industry so that is all i had for you if you know other mistakes that people should uh, avoid kindly comment down below so that people can come and uh, view and watch and read through the comments and always remember uh, to leave me a comment down below so that we can interact more and follow me on my instagram at lilian gishuru uh, follow me on Facebook at Lilian Gishuru and as always thank you guys hope you learned a skill or two hope you enjoyed this video and hope you have gained a, a tip or two on how to grow your nail business that is all I had for you thank you so that is all I have for you on this video guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did kindly remember to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't road to 1k guys help me reach a thousand subscribers and i'll be so 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 happy and always remember to avoid those mistakes that i have talked about and you'll see your nail business thrive it will grow from one level to another and very soon you'll be even hiring people to work for you or you'll start opening other branches all over and yeah so hope you enjoyed the video if you did kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel do not forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below so that you can interact more as always always as always i'm happy to keep you guys posted on the nail industry here in kenya and if you need any questions if you want to start I have done a video on how to start your own nail business I have done a video on where to buy the equipment kindly pardon the noise I have done a video on where to buy uh, your salon equipment nail, nail spa equipment check that video on my playlist on my videos and you will be more informed on where to buy your stuff and that is all i have for you guys always remember to keep smiling keep believing in god and keep believing in yourself bye